My name is Ebenezer Safwadu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a data specialist and a business strategy consultant. Today, I'll be doing a very short video on merge queries. If you've been following my YouTube channel, you know I've been teaching on how to use Power BI to do data analysis. I've started doing data transformation. If you've not watched the last video, go and watch the last video. You'll be more enlightened on the data transformation in Power BI. I talked about the fact that I will do a special um, day, um, video on merge and append queries. Sorry, this particular video will be on append queries. So what is append queries? If you look at this data set, we'll be working with this data set for a while like for some time to come. So kindly take notice of what is in the columns. There's an order ID, product ID, location ID, sales ID, customer ID, purchase ID, quantity and price. This is a typical sales database. Um, you see these IDs because they are connected to particular tables. So this order ID will be connected to probably the other table where you see what this other ID may be. So this is the quantity and price. So this is the sales table. The product ID to be connected to the product. So you see that this product ID in this product table has product ID product name, the cost of the product, the original sale, the discount, current price and taxes. So the fact um, table, which is the, the transactional table, like every transaction that happens is entered with the purchase date, is always linked to the dimension table or the, some call it the lookup tables. So you can have some data here, which is linked to this data. So this product ID here is linked to this product table. So product one is given an ID, just like how you have index numbers that are linked to your names. The reason why you give IDs to these um, columns is to make sure that you have unique entries. You could have product with the same names, but you can never have product with the same IDs because they are coded. So in this particular video, I'll be showing you how to append queries. So for this table, you'll see that there's 2018 sales, there's 2019 sales, and there's 2020 sales. Each one is on a different sheet, or it's like a different table. So we'll call this particular data into the BI and then carry out the append queries that I'm about to show you. So let's go straight to the BI. So this is a blank or a new sheet that I'm starting. So let's go to, let me open this up. Let's go to get data. I've already taught this, it's an Excel sheet. The data set is from Enterprise DNA. I have to thank, um, Sam Makai, a very great um, BI tutor. You can check Enterprise DNA on YouTube. So we'll be working with that um, resource data. Let me see if I can find it. No, let me probably um, extract the file. So I track to downloads. Um, okay, so I can now come to get data, go to Excel, downloads, and um, build. Let's see the file name is. I mean, did I give it UBG? Right. So once we get the data into the BI, it's loading. So all the um, tables that we saw in the Power BI um, Excel sheet are here. So we have the customer data, location data, product data, sales. Um, 2015, 2016, 2017 salespeople's data. So probably can check it out. So when we click on every data, you get more on it. 
So this is 2015 data. But we're concentrating on 2018, 2019, and 2020. 2018. So that is, you can look through the data set to understand what it is. So you select the data table that you want to select. Let me select these three. All right. So we have 2018, 2019, 20 sales. Let's go to transform. Every data set that you actually import, first always transform, go to transform, even if you don't do anything with it. Don't load. Um, so you have 2018 data with the same columns. The only difference is the purchase date. One is in 2019, one is in 20, and one is in 2020. So let me see the columns. It ends with price in this. So this, the 2021 has two extra columns, column nine and column 10. I showed in the other video how to remove. So let's remove those columns and you see it in the apply steps so that is we have one two three four five six seven I think seven columns you can't even see it here so let's look at the other one this is eight columns and 2018 is eight columns so the 2020 data has one extra column of because of that, we'll not be able to match the 2020 data. You can only match the same number of columns. You cannot match columns of different numbers. It should be the same columns with probably the same names. So as it's easier append them, sorry for the use of the word match. So when we append data, it's like going to copy the other data and pasting it beneath the other data. So we have the 2018 data and we have the 2019 data, all with the same column. Unfortunately, the 2021. So we'll just match the two data set. So let's go to combine. You see append. So you append, if you append the query, which means that you just be appending it inside the particular table. But if you do at append, queries as new, you'll be appending it in a new table. So I'll rather choose append as new, always try and that's, I mean, practically that's the best. So you can do two tables or three and more. We are going to do only two, 2018 and 2019. So you select 2018 and 2019, then we click, okay. So we have a new table called append one, and let's see what we can see there. So the last one only had 2018 data set. Let's look if we'll see any 20. Okay, we can even open it up here, load more, and see that if, that, so you see 2019 data. So there's 2018 and 2019 have been added on to one another. And you have just one table. So you can rename this to probably 2018 and 2019 sales. So that is for, appending queries. And one last trick, to not to waste so much space and memory in computing, you have to right click and uncheck the enable load so as those two data sets are not loaded into your BI. And then only 2018 and 2019 sales together as one table would be loaded. So that is all for append queries and our next video, I'll do more on probably merge, like subsequent videos, and more on business. We'll be working with this data set for a long time. So you have the 2018 and 2019. Thank you very much, and hope to see you in the next video. The name is Ebenezer Safwedo. I'm a data specialist and a strategy consultant.